Payday loans, they are banned or restricted in 18 states, but a new study says several banks are getting around those laws. They offer loans with annual interest rates at 300 percent or higher. Rebecca Borne is with the Center for Responsible Lending. Hello to you, Rebecca Borne. So first start us off with what is a payday loan and what makes it different than the traditional loan we're used to? Sure. So a payday loan is a very short-term loan that's due in full along with triple-digit interest on the borrower's next payday. And the banks that are making these loans are structuring them really identically to the way that payday loans have been structured by payday loan companies. What kind of interest rates? So they average, our recent study found they average 225 to 300 percent annual interest rate. Wow. So why would anybody do this? Well, the bank pitches the loan as a short-term solution to, um, wow. you know, a financial challenge. But in reality, once a customer gets into the first loan, it's really structured in a way that will be unaffordable. And so in order to repay the first loan, they have to take out another loan. Mm. And a long-term cycle of high-cost debt ensues. Not all banks are doing it. No. In fact, right now, only a handful of banks are doing it. Um, but soon enough, if federal regulators don't step in and put a stop to it, um, we'll be, you know, looking at just a handful of banks that aren't making these loans. Well, cool. C CBS contacted the banks that are offering these services, and they say that these loans are met for emergencies, they warn customers about the fees, and that these are necessary alternatives to traditional payday lenders. Do you think that's enough to say to people? No, these really aren't alternatives to payday loans. They are payday loans, mm -hmm. and they're not used short term. Um, our study found that the average borrower takes out 19 payday loans from a bank each year. Some take out more than 30. Um, what borrowers need is access to fair financial options. And most banks offer fair financial options. But if we let banks charge 300 percent interest, what's to stop any bank from wanting to charge that every time? And what happens if you can't pay back? Well, the bank usually gets its money because yeah. the bank puts itself first in line and takes right. the money straight out of the direct deposit. So what happens is they just get additional fees from you every two weeks and you end up a lot worse off yeah. than you were when you started. But the bank is first in line. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Rebecca. Great Thanks to for see having you here. me. Thanks.